The Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Pulse School series. I'm Kara Oosterhuis. In this episode, I've talked to Jen Walker of Alberta Pulse Growers on nodulation scoring, the when, where, why, and hows of it. Check out our conversation now. One of the things that pulse crops are known for and one of the reasons why we love to plant them is the fact that they can fix their own nitrogen. And to do this, they form a symbiotic relationship with rhizobia that are bacteria. And we apply that at the time of seeding through an inoculant. And there's a number of different formulations. Um, but it is important to go back once the crop is established and check and see if you actually have active nodulation and if they're working for you. So that's what we're doing here today. So um, when we're scoring for nodulation, it's kind of a weird scale. It's a zero to 13 points. And there's three elements that we look at. The first is just kind of general health of the plant. So if we think about what nitrogen does in the plant, it's kind of its energy source and its protein source. And so if we have a healthy crop that's getting enough nitrogen, it's gonna be nice and green. Um, so if we look across this field, you know, in general, it looks nice and green. When we come down to the plant level, these plants are actually looking pretty good now. We are extremely dry here. And, um, but if we kind of just take a, a general peek across this crop, um, it's still pretty green, things are looking okay. So on the plant health category, when we're doing this nodulation score, um, I'd probably give us about a four. Um, just considering the conditions and, um, you know, these, these little plants are doing pretty good. So that's a four out of five. It could be that it's a little bit early. Um, normally when we do a nodule score, we want to kind of almost just before flowering, so a budding. Okay, these are going to be hard for you to see. There are some tiny, tiny little lateral nodules. They're just very tiny, so it's kind of like that little bubble. I don't know if you can even make that out. That is a tiny little rhizobia nodule. There's another one. And so this plant has them on the crown, which is this main taproot. And then there are some few on the lateral roots. And so this score is out of three. So plant health out of five. And then location of the nodules is out of three. So you ha if you have them on the crown and on the lateral roots, you give it a score of three. If you have it on just the crown, it gets a score of two. And if you have them on just the lateral roots, you get a score of one. And the difference is, if we see them on the lateral roots, it's probably native rhizobia in the soil and they actually aren't very good at fixing nitrogen um, versus the ones that are kind of on this main root. And those ones are generally um, colonized by the inoculant and the variety of the inoculant that we put down. So these are kind of a little bit dismal, but again, it's a bit early. So I think I'd still give it a two because we do have some nodules on the crown root. So this plant got a four for health a two because it has nodules on the crown only. And then the last piece is the number of nodule clusters. So we have a little bit here, and then maybe, I don't even know if I'd call them a cluster. Um, so we would maybe only get a two. So if they have more than five, five clusters, they get a score of five. Um, if they have three to five clusters, then they would get um, a three less than three clusters of nodules would get a two or a one. This one isn't really well nodulated, so I think I'd give it a score of two. So if we were gonna do the overall nodulation scoring for this plant, we would have four for plant health. We would have a two for crown nodules, and then another two. So four plus two plus two is eight. Not a great nodule score. Um, and my recommendation would be to come back in a week maybe, and check again and just see if it's early, um, a little bit early for, for this staging. So that's the basics of nodule scoring. 